It's Grandma Roseanne. And in this segment of Bevel, what we're going to do is some chopping. Now, I, I cook a lot, and I've mentioned that on another video as well, if you're watching our Bevel series. But I don't like having to stop and chop garlic and chop onions if I can do batch chopping. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I have got this attachment in there, and I have two very large onions. And I'm going to do them in two batches here. And I'm going to pulse them. And look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, that is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to put them into my handy little bowl here. And that makes my kitchen prep work so much faster. It really does. Okay. And for this, you're going to need the attachment that's in this segment in the bottom part of your, of your unit. That goes in. This goes next, arrows up. Rotate it till it clicks. Did you hear that? Take your guard off. This goes in next. Everything is very tight in there. And I'm going to put the carrots in first. Cucumbers next. But before I do the cucumbers, I'm going to use this handy little gadget I have here. And I'm taking out the seeds simply because I want this salad to last and I don't want it to get all wet on me. So I just removed the seeds and that is perfect. We want a little bit of celery. A little bit of pepper. And with the tomatoes, I did the same thing. I took all of the uh, gel out of the tomatoes. If you leave the liquid in there, it's not going to hold very long for you. you to notice that everything went through except my tomatoes there I just had a little bit of extra tomato there and that's okay but when you take a look at having been able to do all of that food that fast amazing look at how beautiful they are and they come in these absolutely gorgeous little cubes okay now, I've never seen those cubes anywhere unless I'm paying $25 to $45 for a salad, okay? So here, you have the convenience of doing it at your own home. You have the convenience of doing as many or as little vegetables as you like. But this, for me, is a good amount for several days of salad for me to enjoy and not have to think about, I really want a salad, but oh, I don't want to pull out all those vegetables. Nope. Don't have to do it. Just pop it in my refrigerator and it's good to go. Now I think it's time for carrot salad. Do you ever eat those? Do you ever make them? I love them. My mom used to make them when we were kids. And it's just carrots, mayonnaise, salt and pepper, and uh, she would put raisins in it. So good. So you need this. Now you know you have two sides of slicing here. Um, of shredding. You can do it on the large or you can do it on the small. I'm going to do it on the large. That was 14 seconds. <laughs> 14 seconds! We got it couple little spares left. That's okay. That's for the cook. I've 
cash gelato stuff right there. But look at that. Perfect. 14 seconds. My mama would have loved this. She was cooking for four kids and a papa. So it took a lot longer to grate these carrots than I just did. Now I'm coming back to the beets that we worked on earlier because what I would like to do is I would like to cube those and then I want to do a pickled beet with them. Now you, you're perfectly fine to slice these as well. I just really prefer the, the little cubes. I, I like the look of them, I guess, I don't know. When I would buy them in the grocery store, I would buy them in that jar. And um, I always bought the little cube ones rather than the slices. Okay, let's see how long it's going to take us to do the beets. <laughs> six seconds. It took us six seconds to do those beets. Oh my gosh. I have a tiny little bit left over. Not too much. way cool you guys these beets are going in here I do have some carrot chunks in there because I didn't wash the bowl out but I like carrots and I like beets and I, and I like pickled carrots so I don't think anything can be wrong with that come here and look look at how beautiful how beautiful I just love this machine. I do. All right, this will be pickle beets. This will be pickle beets before long.